Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is February 15th, 2017. And yesterday I was doing a little research on the SETI satellite space systems that monitor the sun and the earth. And they are now starting to reveal what looks to be other planetary objects in our sky. What you're viewing right now on your screen, and if you follow the red arrow, you're actually going to see what seems to be a very large planet just pop up in the screen next to Venus. Now, the reason why it seems to just pop up is because these photographs are taken in two hour increments. So therefore, that's why it seems to just appear in the video and the photographs that you're about to see. Now, Earth is situated all the way to the left. It's signified simply by the word Earth. What you're looking at with the long white line through the white sphere is the planet Venus. However, as the Earth and Venus are passing by, this other large object comes into the frame of the camera. And again, these are taken in two hour increments as far as what I analyzed on the little time clock at the bottom of the footage. Now, I also took a lot of still photographs of what I saw, and this is more video of what I captured. This may be the possibility of why we are seeing all of these massive sun halos in the sky. And these camera systems now are starting to reveal other planetary objects in the sky. Now the white arrow is showing you Venus. The red arrow is showing you this object. I don't know exactly what it is, but I can tell you it doesn't belong there. It should not be there, but it is. Once again, these are still photographs that I took yesterday. This video footage is from the first couple of days, actually the first week in February. Now this is another Sechi view. The red arrow is showing you some type of what looks to be energy coming from what should be Venus, but it's off camera. You can see some type of energy interaction. The blue arrow is showing you some type of halo that is appearing in this footage. Very strange, very unusual. Now, I have seen this halo before coming from Venus. Now the white arrow in this footage, it's just showing you where Earth is. But what I want you to pay very close attention to, not only the energy burst, but if you look very closely, you are going to start to see a lot of other, what looks like small, they're possibly large planets moving from left to right across the screen. Now, I tried very hard to identify these objects, but they're just not appearing on any type of star chart, stellarium, uh, starry night. They're just not there, folks. And if anybody can help out by trying to identify these, that would be fantastic. I could definitely use the help. But what we're starting to see and what is starting to be revealed is simply a lot of objects in the skies. Now, this is another piece of Sechi footage. And I want you to pay very close attention to what happens to the Earth. What you're looking at, the straight line coming down through the sphere, that's Earth. The sun is off to the left. But I want you to see how the Earth seems to jump. It almost moves backwards, like something pulled the entire planet backwards. Now again, this is in two hour increments, so the possibilities of a camera glitch, yeah, maybe. But again, if you pay very close attention to the red arrows and all of these objects that are very large passing by. Now, once again, I try to verify these objects and what they were, and they're just simply not showing up. So once again, if anybody can identify these objects, that'd be fantastic. Help me out. That's what we're all here to do. Try to find the truth. But 
again, folks, you know, looking at this footage and, you know, I spent probably more than 20 hours yesterday examining this footage and trying to figure it out. But there you go. There's something out there and we need to know what it is. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce one of our new affiliate sponsors, Food for Liberty. And they provide the highest quality long-term food storage, water purification, and survival prepper supplies. All foods have a 25-year shelf life, certified non-GMO ingredients, and also a gluten-free option. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a very smart idea to have at least a 30-day supply of food and water in the case of any emergency. So there will be a link provided in the description box under this video for Food for Liberty. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. We'd also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky. <laughs>